Hi everyone, so this is a second in my series of how I've made money so far while living in France in the last two years. Um, and this was right at the beginning of, um, I think we'd um, started the process of buying our house, but we hadn't moved in yet, because um, I remember being in the van still, living in our camper van, and um, basically going to work from our camper van and like getting changed and closing all the curtains in the nearby town so no one could see me getting into my yoga clothes. Um, so it was quite humorous, really. Um, but um, yeah, so I'm a trained yoga teacher and I have been for uh, six years-ish. Um, and um, yeah, it was a bit, of, a bit crazy the way I got this job. Uh, basically, every year in France, in most areas, um, they have what's called a kind of foire, um, and it's kind of an event where um, you can go along to it, all the locals go along to it, and they basically sign up to all the clubs and things that they want to do um, for the year, whether it's um, the kids wanting to do dance or theatre or karate or whatever, or if it's um, uh, the adults in the family wanting to do um, crocheting or patchwork um, or kind of... American dance or whatever it is um, you go along and you sign up for the year and so I went along with my family just to see what it was all about um, and just to kind of get a bit clued up in the area we knew we were going to live in um, and um, I found this stand outside and they were called Ape Aoui and they were based in Salis du Salat which is the next town along from us um, and I just kind of got chatting to the guy who seemed really nice and basically his association works with schools and colleges in the area um, so for example what they do is lunchtime clubs in schools they do after school clubs um, they do holiday clubs um, La Garderie is what's the after school club um, they do kind of longer holiday trips as well um, and basically I asked them, do you want a yoga teacher <laughs> um, to teach your kids or, you know, how, how can I basically um, work within your business? Uh, and um, he basically got me to come along to his office in town and we talked it over and um, we kind of discussed when I'd be able to start. And, it was all kind of quite a quick, easy process, really. We signed um, what was a kind of contract, but later I found out that it wasn't a kind of official contract because I tried to show it to people like Paul en Poir and they were like, this isn't a contract. Uh, I was like, OK, well, this is what they gave me. And, you know, I didn't know anything at that time. Um, so um, what I ended up doing is the first trimestre, um, was at a little school in Roquefort sur Garonne with quite young kids. Um, I think they were kind of age four or five up to age seven, eight max. Um, and they gave me this little hall, which was kind of between classrooms. Uh, wasn't very well cleaned. Um, loads of big windows on one side, so it was nice and light. Uh, but it had the toilets just off it, which wasn't great because I had to try and persuade the children to not go to the loo during the yoga class um, and just kind of trying to stick with it. Um, and then, but with this kind of work, as soon as parents turned up, they would leave. So it was very, very disruptive um, and wasn't great. And some of the boys were really naughty. So I just said, look, this isn't working in the yoga class because you're, you're kind of interrupting others around you. So I got them to, either stand outside and calm down or um, I told them to go next door where everyone else was playing because they kind of came to me in rotation. Um, so after that trimestre was done, my next trimestre I was moved to another school in Salis du Salat which was Ecole Maternelle for the young kids. Um, but schools from, from the same town but other schools would come there, join and um, would play there as le, La Garderie, the after school club. So they would be much older kids as well. So there I had um, up to kind of age 10 or 11 and I didn't have the really young ones. 
So that was much better. They were much more engaged and um, kind of really taking on board what I was teaching them with the yoga. Um, and there I had a room which was kind of in the middle of all the other rooms fed off it. Um, and again, the, the parents would come directly in from one side um, and disrupt things. So again, that was bitty and personally not working great for me with the whole interruption thing. Because um, if there was no interruptions, it would have gone beautifully and they would have just stayed for the class. They would have learnt stuff, gone away, etc. But it didn't work like that. Um, so then when it came to the next trimestre, um, they decided that they wanted to try um, other forms of entertainment for the kids um, and they decided they didn't want to continue with yoga. So I was like fine and I was already ready to move on to my next job which I'll tell you in the next film um, what that's about. So that was another association but that was um, pretty well run to be, to be honest. There were lots of people in the organisation um, lots of people, they all had their different roles um, and I had a kind of boss that I, I, it would be him that I would talk to and discuss things with um, and um, I got paid by cheque uh, it's all good and then I just put it in the bank and there we go <laughs> right, so the next one is a different kind of association altogether and I'll talk about that next see you soon, bye